I figured why not come on here and do my makeup with you guys this morning. Happy Sunday to all of you. If I'm going to do my makeup and I got new palettes, I'll try to film them when I can. So today we are going to use the new Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled, right? Bejeweled something hypnotized. Bejeweled eyes to hypnotize. Here's the outer case. And it's a little bit of a tricky palette to me. Now, she made it easy in the sense that there comes, there's an overlay that comes down here and it like literally says one, two, three, one, two, three, to show you one, two, three. Now we're gonna use this one today, but if you look, they are all shimmers in this particular quad. We're gonna do Dream Glow today. It makes me nervous, even though I know to put this first, this light shade first, this one second, and this one in the smoke. So it's prime, enhance, and smoke. But I've never put three shimmers all on my eyes at one time. So um, I'm going to trust the process. This I figured I'd do the hard, what I thought in this palette is the hardest look because all of the other ones do have one matte in them. Um, I did this one yesterday and it turned out beautiful. So you have a matte here, you have a matte here, and you have a matte here. But this one is all shimmers and that can be, I think, intimidating, especially if you're new to makeup and you're just learning and you're used to using mattes and you're nervous about shimmers because you have hooded lids like I do or you have extra wrinkles. Um, our group of subscribers to the channel is primarily 45 to 65. So we all have issues. We're getting wrinkles. We have hooded eyes. We just, you know, we have issues with our eyes as we age. And But ladies, it's a beautiful sign of aging. Don't be afraid of your wrinkles, your crow's feet. I heard Rob Beauty Christie say she loved her crow's feet. And I'm like, you know what? I, I think they look sexy on a man. I don't know about you, but I see crow's feet on a guy and I'm like, oh, that's cute. So why can't it be cute on us? It can. We just have to learn how to use our, um, what we have and how to enhance our beauty. So I'm going to start just using my hands with the, um, this is the pretty fresh glow. Like it's like a hydrating illuminator. I'm going to use this all over my face. Now, normally I've been using it where I mix it into my foundation and apply it that way. But today I'm just going to use it all over my face and you're going to see, a, you're going to see, a, I'm going to glow, but then it's going to tap down a bit once I put the foundation over it. Because today I want, my eyes are gonna be so glowy. So I kind of wanted this as a backdrop, not, I don't want my face to be as glowy as I would normally do it. Um, I am using the Laura Mercier one and two vanilla um, for reference if you're close to my skin color and I just use three little drops. So I always start by kind of popping it on here and then I blend it in. And this, I don't know where I got this beauty blender, but it's like so like, I love it. It's so, so floppy. And we're just going to tap. I'm curious if you guys use to put your foundation on like a foundation brush or if you use a beauty blender. Let me know in the comments below. I have not been able to find a brush that does as good of a job as like, I don't get, I don't get like, I feel like I get brush strokes on my face when I use the brush. And I don't know if I'm using just not a good brush because I've used different ones. I think if, if I have one up here, yeah. So I have this kind where you sort of just like paint it on your skin. And then I have ones where you kind of pounce it where it's a little bit more like, I need a little bit more. We're gonna give a little bit more coverage here. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm just doing it wrong. I haven't found a brush for my makeup that I like. Now, I do like to get down here because if you're, if you're like me, I have un, some uneven skin tone, but also um, I actually get, as I've aged, I've gotten little hairs that pop out of my chin like a little witch. Um, I think it's normal. I think we all get it. My mom has it. She's had it forever. And I'm dealing with a lot of puffiness today, which I don't know why, cause like I slept just fine, but we're gonna use a little concealer. I get puffy, but I do not get, um, I don't get dark circles yet, but my son really does, and so does his dad. Um, but yeah, so I will often take my foundation down my neck and that kind of covers things up a bit if there's any red. I do keep that, I, like if I see a little hair, I pluck it, but you know, the suckers come up, it stinks. All right, so I think that looks pretty good for our base. 
and I'm just gonna go. Oh, let's do, let's do um, concealer under the eyes, and I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath. This is kind of a really nice powder for you under your eyes. It's really finely milled, and it brightens. And I found that it kind of doesn't cake, and it kind of sinks in and helps with like the fine lines and wrinkles too. This is from Pat McGrath. So let me get my under eye concealer. Okay, this one is by Dose of Colors. I got this in at BoxyCharm. I figured we'd use it. It is in 03 Fair. Now for me, my nose is very narrow and I tend to get darkness right there. So I will put the concealer, I'll dot some right there. Now you don't need a lot of concealer, guys. Like literally, that's probably all I need, but I'm gonna, because I have some puffies, we're just gonna cover it up a little bit more today. You see these girls and they apply all this it's ridiculous, all this. I mean, I guess for them, they don't have fine lines and wrinkles. You know, they're, skin, they're uh, probably 100 pounds and they're still real young and they don't need the, they don't need it like we do. And so they layer it on and it's, I feel like it's really satisfying to watch it come together, but I've got wrinkles. And if I put that much under my eyes, it's just gonna cake and look so bad. All right. I'm just using the same beauty blender that I used for my face because it blends it nice, but I'm using the point so I can get up in there. This one's actually a little bit big for the face. All right, so let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is go in with the lightest shade right here. This is like a, a light pinky shade. I'm going to make sure that my brush is cleaned off. Sometimes I do use the same brushes. I use my Switch, which you can find these anywhere, but I got mine at Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in and pick it up on my brush. And this is gonna kind of go all over the lid a little bit. Let me move you guys in, because this is our prime shade. So it's gonna go all over the lid and I'm gonna go up and just sort of blend it up in here a little bit. Even though it is a shimmer, so this is what we're supposed to do. All right, so let's get our other eye done. This is very simple if you use it. Now, I don't know if it's gonna turn out. I'm a little scared myself. That's why I wanted to do this with you because putting all these shimmers on my lids and I have hooded lids and wrinkly lids. So if I can do it, and it ends up being a look that we all love, you guys can do it too. So Charlotte Tilbury is all about that glow. Everything she does is to help you glow and look like you're doing it naturally. Okay, so there is the first, I'm gonna bring you guys in even closer, the first glow shade. I still haven't went to get my eyebrows waxed either. All right, so now I'm going to take my finger with the middle shade right here. That's number two. And that is going to kind of go on the bulk of our eye here. Oh, that's pretty, right in the center. That's beautiful. That's such a pretty shade. Like kind of like a, a mauve berry shade. Looks like I got some leftover black on my eyes. See, this is just, I'm gonna have to go over with, I just wiped it off, I'm gonna have to go over with more foundation. All right, let's do this one. And I'm leaving that inside center a little bit open so that I can take that first shade and brighten that up again. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of an angled brush. Um, I think this was like an Eco Tools, and we're gonna go into our purple shade, which is our smoke shade. And this is going to, we're gonna, these are very pigmented by the way, so be careful where you set it down because you're gonna get a lot of pigment there. We're gonna start in the corner up here a little bit and we're going to push this in the crease just like that so if i step back that's what you're seeing and remember you already kind of put 
a little bit of that first shade and you might want to go in again and just like run that first shade over to connect that a little bit again like that all right let's do that with the same thing here on this side put it down in the corner and bring it up a little bit I come up almost to my brow because of my hooded eyes so because otherwise you're not going to see it and then I'm going to go right in and I'll push it right into the crease right in and then we're going to go in a little bit with that first shade we used and just sort of blend it I'm using my finger here but you can use your um, brush like I did on this side now I'm going to take an empty brush and with nothing on it and I'm going to blend the top here so that we get rid of these lines that these harsh lines that we have and it's okay if your eyes aren't exactly the same guys these are your eyes are sisters they're not twins um, I am going to take a little pencil brush and if you don't know what a pencil brush is, it looks like a pencil, it's real little. And I'm gonna take that first shade that we started with and I'm gonna come in and pop that on the inner corner. And then before we go any further, I'm gonna fix the under eyes real quick. And also with this shade, I'm gonna pop it a little bit right here. Someday I'll get my eyebrows done again been saving money not doing my nails or my eyebrows, but I really need to get both done because they're kind of driving me crazy at this point. Okay, let me back you guys out. Okay, so here is what we're working with so far. And I am going to just fix my under eye area. I think I can, I gotta put a little bit more of the, um, I wiped this away, the dose of colors under here and fix this and then we're going to put the Pat McGrath under it and then we'll get our bottom line done I think I might go with the purple under my eye that's what I'm thinking that smoke shade at least we're going to do that on the outside now my eyes as it's real early here so um, I always have a lot of fluid in them when I wake up, but that will go down. So I'm just gonna pretend it's not there. Um, I'm going to take, actually let's do this big one. This is a Morphe E49 brush and I'm gonna take that and just pat this under my eyes. There is a useless mirror on here that is so little. It's like, but I mean, I guess you, you can kind of look, but I'm gonna pat this gently under my eyes. It brightens your eye and it's not too heavy of a powder. This is one of the best eye powders that I've ever seen. So you're looking for a good one, but it's pricey. All right, now I'm gonna take a skinny brush like this. So it's got like a flat tip and I'm gonna take that dark shade again and I'm going to push it right up against the line here the like as close real close to my lash line and I'm doing it about halfway all right I'm going to say take the same one and take that the pinker shade in the middle and do right here kind of fill it in Just like that. Just like that. So I have the purple or the pink. You can't really see too much the difference in the thing here. Then you take, I have another pencil brush. There's a bigger pencil brush. Let me make sure there's nothing on it. And I'm just gonna kind of um, rub it along here. This doesn't have any product on it, just to sort of um, kind of fade it into my skin a little bit better and brush it out. So again, see, you can see this brushed it out a little bit. It's not such a harsh line like this. So this is what you you want to do. You want it to sort of fade into your skin. There's something on me right there. 
All right, now sometimes I'll take that lightest shade, that little highlight that we used on the inner corner, I'm taking that same color and just coming down on the bottom just a little, pulling it down. Okay, all right guys, I think we are ready for liners and liner and lash and eyelash mascara. I'll be right back. Okay, we did it and it came out really good. I accidentally made a little mistake with my liner, so my liner is a little heavy here. I'm gonna back you guys out a little bit and I'm gonna do, uh, this is very loved and very used, but the Natasha Denona um, blush palette. This one is in the color Diamond and Blush and we're gonna use this one. So this one, um, I used part of it with my hand. I'm gonna use the first shade here, which is like a creamy, um, you can barely see it, but it's like a little bit of a sticky base and it gives you a small glow. This is not really your highlighter, but it's the start of the, the cheek look. And I have done a review on this entire palette before um, and used all of the shades. I don't know if we're gonna use them all today. So we're gonna start there. Now, the next thing is, um, and this, you can put this on your nose too for like kind of a little bit of a, a subtle, subtle glow if you did want to do full highlight on your nose. Um, all right, so now I'm going to go in with a pouncy brush. This is what I call a pouncy brush. It's real dense. Um, I think my daughter gave me this one. I don't know this is from, but it's got a beautiful marble handle on it. And I'm going to bounce into the second shade here. And there's a cover to keep these from drying out too. Pick some up and we are going to um, pounce this on. And actually, whenever I put this on, that's that's actually when I see the glow underneath that I just laid down. So I don't know if that's showing here for you guys. You don't really probably see it when I first laid it down. Like here, you can't really see it. But once you put this pouncy stuff on it, it kind of, you're like, oh, it's there. So um, let's go in here and just pounce this on. I'm not using any bronzer or anything today. I'm just going in. The nice thing about using blush that like this is that if you get it where you don't want it, it's it you can get it just you can just take your foundation brush here and go under it and clean it up. All right. Now I'm going to take a Wayne Goss brush that I have here and oh, do I want that color? I'm gonna go in with the highlight shade and we're gonna give a little bit more more highlight to the cheeks. Down the nose, the mouth. A little bit up here. Okay, now I'm taking the same brush and I'm using, this is like the really high shine, it's the diamond powder. Mine actually fell out and crumbled. I had to stick it all back in here. It was, don't drop this palette. Um, and I'm gonna keep this up towards the end because this has got a lot of sparkle. I don't even know if it's showing, but it all together, it just looks so nice. And there we're done with our cheeks. All right, we are almost done, my friends. I have to find a, um, a nice lipstick to use. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna use this little Wet n Wild liner and I'm gonna try to use this tiny little mirror. And then I have a Ofra um, lip, lip, matte lipstick I'm gonna use. There we go. And I'm using, this is in the color Charmed and this is from Ofra. I'll have everything I use today linked for you guys. I think the Charlotte Tilbury, I gotta look because Charlotte Tilbury herself is having a, a site-wide sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and it's still going on. So it might be cheaper to get the Bejeweled eyeshadow palette, which is $75 on her site, but I got it at 
Sephora. So I'll check both sites and see where it's cheaper and link the cheaper one. I know I know Charlotte has a buy one get one free on the palette. Like if you like if for 120, it's normally 75. For 125 dollars, you can get two and give one to a friend. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then I'll typically I'll put like a gloss over and I'm finished after that dries. But there is our look using the shades that I thought were going to be a little bit more difficult. I just wanna fix this right here because there's like a gap. And I thought it was gonna be a lot more purple. It kind of all blended in so beautifully. It's such a pretty shine and it sort of looks more like mauve, I would say. I don't know, but it looks, it the colors looked really nice blended together. I guess she knows what she's doing because this that combo scared me. I don't think I would have tried it. Um, this is the color story we used right here and I don't really see, I mean, I might want to put a little bit more of that dark shade just right in here and just smoke it up a little bit. Like that, yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Cause we, I think we kind of lost that smoke shade. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let me bring you back, back in and show you now. So now you can really see the define and you can see a little here and then we have the lighter shades under that. So there we go. Now it's definitely got more purple. I, don't, I think I was scared, so it was going in really lightly. And actually, I think smoking that darker shade in actually made my eyes look bluer. What do you guys think? I think that that popped my eyes a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Love it. Okay. All right, guys. So that is... Um, what I thought was the hardest trio in Charlotte Tilbury's Bejeweled Eyes to Mesmerize palette. So I hope that that helps you feel a little bit more confident. The rest of the shades all do have a matte, so I don't think you will be afraid to use those. And you literally use them in step one, two, and three. Um, she has it laid out on... Um, I think I threw it out the piece. There's a piece that comes inside here like a plastic. But then she also has it on the back, one, two, three, and tells you what to do. So... All right, we did it, we did it. Hoodie eyes, puffy eyes, and all. And my puff is already starting to go down from what you saw, um, so we're getting better. And look, we got pretty rainbows coming in. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, take care.